Hi everyone, my name is Mimi and I'm a Toronto-based pianist and piano teacher slash music educator. I've been teaching piano for almost 7, 8-ish years now, but I've actually never done online teaching until recently. So in this video, I'll just be sharing some of the things that I've been doing in the past couple of months um, during my online lessons, specifically for my young beginner kids. So one of the first things that I've done is incorporating more off-bench activities than before because it can be quite difficult to maintain the focus of young children in person so it's even harder online. Um, so I find that doing a lot of off-bench activities keep them you know, feeling motivated and involved and also allows them to just move around and really feel the music which I think is super important. Um, so for example, I've been getting my students to march, run, or sway in place as I play on the piano the piece or the song that we are currently working on and I would do so in various tempi. So for example, if I'm playing it fast, they would probably run in place or if I'm playing it slow, they might just you know sway their arms in place. Um, if they seem a little lost with the actions, I would actually stand up and I would sing the song in solfege and then just do the actions myself and they could just follow along. And of course, if they want to come up with other actions, um, like I've had like swimming or climbing or dancing, that's totally okay too, as long as um, it gets them on their feet and they're feeling the music with it. Another thing that I incorporate is body solfege um, and this basically means like assigning each like body part to like a solfege syllable. Um, so for example, if I'm teaching hot cross buns, I would do me up here, re on my nose and then do on my shoulders. Um, and it's just a really fun way to like teach the song and also it gets them to physically feel like the higher note versus the lower notes. Also if I'm doing scales or something, of course I would start from my feet and then I would go all the way up to my head or sometimes I would get kids to wave their hands up in the sky or something fun like that. So next I'll just be talking about some of the props that I've made slash used um, just to make my lessons a little bit more fun. So I do a lot of rote and repeat after me activities. So to make it more entertaining, I basically started using my water bottle as like a microphone. So I would tell my kids that when it's pointed at me, it's my turn. And when I point it to them, it is their turn and they repeat exactly what I sang. Um, I know it's such, such a small thing, but like it actually helped me so much, especially online. Now, to connect the moving and the solfege singing with notes on the page, um, I've used my big do re mi circles right here. And um, in the past few weeks, what I've been doing is I've taped them up on like a page. So for example, if I'm teaching hot cross buns, these are the three that I've used. So as I'm teaching it in the beginning, mi, re, do, I will point to it as I teach. And then as my student repeats it, I will also point to it. So I just think that it's good to have this visual um, reminder, especially if they like just started singing in solfege and don't really, and are not really familiar with it. So another prop that I've made um, is this ladder um, from La to La, which was the natural minor scale that I was teaching. So I also have these tiny um, solfege cards right here on the side. And um, as we go up the scale, as we review it, I would just stick them back. And then when we finish the whole thing, we would just sing it up and down. And of course this works very well um, if you want to do body solfege after. Um, another thing that I wanted to show were my minor tonic and minor dominant houses. So what I mean by that is this. Basically I just like drew a house and had some space on the side um, where the notes that live at this house could you know, be pasted. So I always start with um, this minor scale right here. And damn, this is a little bit beat up, but it's okay. <laughs> so basically um, I would ask them to sing the whole scale and then I would ask, oh, so which notes live in the minor tonic house? And they would be like, la, do, and me. And I'd be like, excellent. And I would take um, for example, the law off and then I would paste it right here beside the house and I'll be like, yeah, exactly. Like law lives in the minor tonic house. And if you're wondering why the sun looks so sad is because it is minor and minor is very sad. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just find that this is a great way to um, make theory concepts 
um, fun and you know more visual and presented in like a really animated way that would make sense for young children. So another prop that I wanted to show was this pizza that I made. Um, I made this pizza for teaching note values. So this one big pizza is equivalent to the whole note. And um, I use Gordon syllables with my kids and underneath I have the actual term, which is whole note. And then of course for half note, it would be half a pizza. And for quarter note, it would be a quarter of a pizza. And um, on the back of my quarter note, I actually drew um, one slice of pizza. And the reason is because I taught my kids that um, the quarter note is one beat. Hence, this is one slice of pizza. So that way, um, they could actually figure out the dotted um, half note, which is right here, because I asked them um, how many slices of pizza fits in here, and they're like, oh, three. So it must be three beats. So of course, I've made um, rests that go along with it as well, like that. So yeah, those are just some of the things that um, I've done recently with my beginners. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. And of course, I am by no means an expert on this. There are so many experienced and wonderful piano teachers out there. Um, but I just thought I would contribute my two cents. So thank you so much for listening and special thanks to my friend Lydia and to Arts From Home for reaching out to me and giving me the chance to contribute to this great cause. I encourage you to donate if you can. Um, the donation link will be in the caption below and in the Arts From Home bio or feel free to share this video or any other video from the Arts From Home page so that more people can know about it. Thank you so much everyone. Bye!